Hey, what's going on? My name is Jens and in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can easily recreate colorful psychedelic soap bubbles. I'm going to tell you what kind of setup you need and what kind of secret mixture I use to create perfect, stable, colorful soap bubbles. At the end of the video, you will be able to recreate every video sequence, every image you see in this video without the need of buying expensive gear. Let's go! Okay, great. I hope that you liked what you just saw. Let's talk about what you need to get footage and images like in the intro. There's actually just one thing which I would really recommend to buy and that is a softbox. You can use really the cheapest one on the internet. This one was about 30 euro on eBay. So we don't need a lot of light, but we need a bright, big, flat surface. And therefore the softbox is just perfect. The second thing is actually just four glasses because we want our soap bubble to be very close to the softbox. That's why I have mounted the softbox to the glasses and then we're gonna create the soap bubble right below the softbox to get a big bright reflection revealing a lot of great colors. Okay, now it's time to create some soap bubbles. We're gonna start very simple just using washing up liquid and water. Let's see what we can get. And because of the size of the soap bubbles, there is actually no need to use a macro lens for today's images. You can also use your smartphone, for example. After you've created a soap bubble with a straw, wait 10 to 20 seconds and the soap film becomes thinner and then those magical colors appear. But after some time, the colors drop because of gravity, the soap is gone and the soap bubble becomes transparent. So how to fix that? The easiest way to regain all those nice colors again is to use a straw, blow, and then create some turbulences on the soap bubble. Because of the rotation, the soap bubble will take some more soap from the bottom and renews itself. And here's one tip for you. When you use a plate like this, get sure that there's always a little bit of fluid on the bottom. Because of the shape, the soap bubble cannot expand and thereby won't break so fast. And when you add turbulence with the straw and wait a little bit, all the colors disappear and the structure of the soap bubble completely changes. It looks like golden ice shell? I don't know. But keep on trying every time you make a soap bubble or change the mixture just a little bit the result will be completely different okay i think for an introduction that was pretty good images with just water and washing up liquid what do you think but now I'm going to tell you what you need to create the perfect, unbreakable, colorful soap bubble. And the best thing is you don't have to buy anything, promise. You have everything you need in your household to create that mixture by your own. Let's go. Okay, great. Now let's get a little bit experimental. I just got vanilla syrup 
and now I'm gonna mix it with water and soap. What do you think will happen to the shape and the colors are also bubbles? Let's find out. And pretty amazing structures. And what I really like is that it's completely stable. That is pretty cool and I don't have to blow with a straw or anything. The bubble just perfect. Look at those colors. That bubble lasts for about five minutes. Let's see what happens when I add a little bit of wind. Wow, look at those turbulences. If you don't have any cocktail syrup, that's actually no problem. Just mix water and sugar and boil it to a syrup. Then add the syrup to the water washing up liquid solution and you will get those nice images. I didn't expect that a little bit of sugar would make such a big difference here. That is crazy. Okay, let's take some more images. Actually, this setup here is pretty perfect because when you use a plate like this, the position of the soap bubble is fixed. So you just have to focus once using manual focus and then you can experiment by using a straw and wind or different mixtures to get the perfect shot. So you just have to set up everything once and then fire with the camera. And this is actually how I took my best images. I am blowing with the straw against the bubble and at the same time I'm having a look on my display and take the image like this. That is really pretty incredible. That sugar layer bubble lasts now for over 40 minutes and I don't think that this bubble will ever gonna break. Nice. I can hardly imagine that it is possible that those images can even get better. But let's add some more syrup and see maybe that we can make the colors more pop. What? <laughs> I didn't really expect to see that. What? <laughs> I didn't really expect to see that. No way. The bubble just changed its color from blue to gold. That is cool. I really had to film that scene again with 100 frames per second because in slow motion it just looks so cool. You probably think that there is something wrong with this guy, but after I've added a lot more vanilla syrup, Actually, the soap bubble has developed a new color and started to glow. That's really one of my favorite parts of photography. And I don't think that this will be the last bubble photography video on my YouTube channel. But what about you? Have you any idea what else we could add to our mixture to create different soap bubbles? Let's try honey. Hey pretty baby, am I in your way? Cause you walked out so fast yesterday. No, I don't think you're here to stay. At first, I must say that this looks even more boring than just using water and washing up liquid. But when we use a straw and add some turbulences, the colors go crazy. Well, I think the difference between the honey and the vanilla syrup is not too big, but who cares? Just experiment, get creative, and maybe you find something to get that one unique image. And there's one thing which I have to tell you. I have started a couple of days ago with those bubble photographies, 
and there's one soap bubble which I created with the vanilla syrup which got yeah which kind of crystallized so I am able to get I, I'm sure I show you for soap bubble photography we need a large field of depth that's why I always shoot at an aperture of f22 which at the same time creates some noise um, because of the distance between softbox and soap bubble we really have a lot of light which allows me to capture images between ISO 500 and ISO 1000. But because this soap bubble just got frozen or sugar frozen, I don't know what is it called in English, we are able to use long exposure times and high detail. Let's take a look. If you like what you just saw, I'd really appreciate if you leave a comment and a like, because somehow the YouTube algorithm is not showing my videos anymore. Anyway, I hope that I could thrill you to dive deep into bubble photography and get creative and have some fun. Hopefully see you in the next video. Have a good day.